In your podcast, you propose that we are in the midst of the neo-modernism movement. So can, what can you tell us about this movement, the effects of it, and the benefits and drawbacks? Sure. So just kind of really quickly, because the, these historical movements, these major ones, they're kind of uh, after effects of what came before them. So just, you know, for a lot of people, when you try to look up something like postmodernism, it can be just, just kind of sound like gobbledygook, mm. essentially. I just break it down. Postmodernism is essentially about skepticism. And it's about infusing skepticism in, in infrastructures of our existence. So even things like writing, we can be skeptical of the meaning in writing. We can be skeptical of grand narratives, right? So things like uh, religion, which tries to anything that tries to provide a definitive way of being of looking at things like good evil right and wrong postmodernism says we're going to be skeptical of that okay so the essential question that you always have to ask yourself by the end of historical movements and i would say postmodernism starts to decline probably in the mid to late 90s it starts doesn't mean that we were aware of it at all but by the end of postmodernism, we've infused so much skepticism into every infrastructure and aspect of our lives that in some ways it had to die. It just felt like this has got to end. We have to have some sense of stability of narratives, a stability in, in beliefs, in things, in ideals uh, of, hum of the human experience. And so you, it ends up being like a rubber band. And every day that rubber band gets stretched further and further back of the movement until it snaps and snaps sometimes violently, quite honestly, right? Because we've just reached the end of, of our usefulness for that historical movement. And that's what happened with postmodernism. So what happens, the essential question is, how long can the human being be in a state of skepticism in everything, in all aspects of our life? Well, Postmodernism lasts pretty long if you, if you have the starting point at around World War II, World War II-ish, and then into the 90s. And of course, we still have postmodern aspects today because you never leave, you never completely cut off a historical movement. We have enlightenment thinkers, romantic heroes, all those things. Okay. 